you know, I've got the bunk bed build going on right now, but there's only so much I can do at a time. And right now, I've got the one end that is drying with the pins in it. And I've just went ahead and cut all these and flushed all these up. So this side is completely done. And while I'm taking a quick break from it, I'm going to be working on this logging saw right here. This will be just kind of like intermittent whenever I can. And you can see it's, it's pretty rusty. And the handles need a little bit of a redoing. There's uh, pretty much no oil involved in them. So they're really dried out. And uh, there's a little bit of blue on there. I don't know what that's from. But uh, today I'm just going to go ahead and I took the handles off. These were simply put on. They just go on right there. This is the pin style handles because the, the threads are pinned on there. And then you've got this other piece that goes right here. And as you tighten the wing nut right there, it'll hold this right in place. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of how I refinish these handles. So as you can see, I've already taken them off and everything. And, you know, they, the shape is great. There's no cracking. There's no splits or anything anywhere in the handle. So that's really good. That means that I don't have to try to either buy any or have somebody return any. The handle hole isn't all... It's not uh, bigger than the threads, really, so... You don't have any play in there. So I've just gotten some sandpaper right here. And I'm just going to pretty much go up and down on it. And just try to get off any uh, paint or any lacquer or polyurethane that's been put on there over the years. So I'm not going to do that. This one doesn't look like too much. It's right down here where the actual metal was. I've already kind of knocked some of the dirt off earlier. Just to kind of see what kind of shape they were in. So there's not much work to them now. But you can see that the wood is pretty soft and it's just coming right off. Like you can see that there was some kind of finish put on this one right here. So I've gotten most of the stuff off. It's good enough that we can go on to the next step. And it's just pretty much just taking a rag and trying to get everything all wiped off and good and dust free. But like me, I got plenty of shirts that get worn and abused and dirty. And over time, they just get worn out. So I like to take them out here into the shop and use them as different rags. So what I'm using is a boiled linseed oil. I like the uh, the way this coats everything. I put it on my hand planes, on my wooden ones, and on a lot of the wooden things that I try to restore. You can uh, do boiled linseed oil with uh, beeswax and different things like that. Mix up your own creation. But this is straight out of a can. It's nice and simple. So this is the way I like to go. I haven't ever seen anything bad with it. So after I pour some into the uh, into the rag, and you can just see that taking an entirely different look on it right there. I mean, look at the the difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that really soaking wet. Let that oil really seep into that into that wood. You can see that it was really dried out. I like the way boiled linseed oil smells too. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think I think it smells really good. It brings back like a I don't know, like an old timey feel. Weird, I don't know. But so there's one handle. It's still really wet, and that's okay. But can you tell the difference? Look at look at that. The, I brought a whole entire new life to that handle right there. Well, that's it. That's that's all I'm going to do for the night. 
and uh, I let these babies just kind of sit there and just kind of soak all that oil in and, and I'll give another coat another day and there's there's something there's some kind of rule like you're supposed to do it uh, once every every week for three weeks and then once every three months and then once every I don't know like every third month for the year and then every three years and then it's supposed to keep these the wood really really well preserved if you guys know that you know leave that in the comments down below I can't remember exactly what it is but I think it's something like that. So, thanks for uh, joining me on just restoring these handles real quick. Nothing major, but, uh, you know, leave comments. We'll see you guys on the next video.